Here's somebody ready to call it like he sees it. Well, I see him as boring. The following champion vs. champion contest is a special guest referee match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, the Superstar. Now, this is a guy who won't get pushed around, won't get intimidated, and he won't be entertaining either. You know, I saw this guy studying the WWE rulebook earlier tonight. What a dork. Yeah, he was reading Saxton's copy. It was? He didn't even ask. Hey, maybe this guy isn't trustworthy after all. It's Mr. Money in the Bank. And the participants. First, representing the Judgment Day from New York City. Damian Priest is dead set on growing his legacy, on bringing more and more glory to his name. And he's done just that, Cole. A modern-day bad guy picking fights and winning gold. But it's never enough for the power-hungry Damian Priest. A look of pure disdain on the face of Damian Priest. Well, it's because he has passed judgment on the entire WWE Universe and has found them all unworthy. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tribal Chief is here. And we may have no other option but to acknowledge him. And his opponent, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Herman Hayes! Over 1,200 plus days as Universal Champion, the third longest reigning world champion in WWE history. Three plus years of dominance. Dozens of successful title defenses. Yeah, it's got to feel like pure intimidation when you are facing Roman Reigns. It may even feel like victory is virtually impossible. Reigns is firmly established as the head of the table and has no intention of being unseated.
Priest embodies no mercy, no remorse. He's a sadistic individual. So you need tenacity just to survive the man. The action is underway, and the big question is how good a job our special guest referee is going to do tonight. Hopefully, the referee's handbook has been stunned. His shoulders are down. What? Oh, he kicked out. How can this referee call himself legitimate with a count like that? Our guest official is asserting himself a bit too much with that kind of count. That's how you wear down your opponent. In the head. Cover! Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? And that was a by the book pin count. You can tell the ref has set his feelings aside with a count like that. Rapid fires. And he goes for the pin. A kick out before three. And that is how the count should be. This ref is taking the job seriously. And keeping attention to the official, I saw no fault with his count at all there. And slamming him down into a power bomb. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. Nasty knee. Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stomp to the gut, too. Reigns really having his way right here. Overwhelming attacks for Roman now. He's taking some good hits. Roman not backing down at all. Into the ring now. Oh, and a forearm smash. Shoulders down. He narrowly avoids the count. And our guest official calling that one down the middle. Our official kept a fair count there, really earning his stripes. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. That's Damien unleashing some cold and methodical destruction. Completely focused on the task at hand. Nice work fighting off the pin attempt. Gotta commend our official. Saw the shoulders down and respond. Damien Priest, crucifix. He must have seen that coming. Got to find a way to get out of this. His shoulders are down. Barely kicks out. And you can't argue with the referee's count. Kept things above board there. Nothing exciting, just fair. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Reigns now losing ground. Reigns has to turn the tide quickly. Big forearm. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. All the way out. Flex. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. A rope step. Tobacco Hilo. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Wicked kick to the face. And he tosses it back in now. Look at these vicious stomps in the corner. The stomp in every single part of his body. The advantage is turned towards Priest. Gotta expect Priest calm, control to... And here's a cover. And there's 
the kick out. And that was an honest count. No one can argue that. Looks like our special referee knows the importance of his responsibilities. Great counter. Finally, Roman's able to interrupt these attacks for a moment. Reigns isn't allowing that burst of attacks to throw him off his game. Vaulting plancha, incredible. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. He's getting pushed out of the defensive. Yeah, a man of Damien's size can do a whole lot of damage. Proof positive right there. Driven down with the tombstone slam. Fire, let's talk about our referee for a second. What did you examine? Solid officiating so far in this match, sticking right to the rule book, being on top of every count. A mostly fair job thus far. Priest has his opponent up. Powerbomb. That could finish off Roman. Play with that kick out. Priest clearly thinking, what am I gonna have to do to put this one away? Nine, two, Off the rope. Oh no! Oh, that was nasty to watch. Finding nobody home. Oh, stop right to the hand. These competitors have been going deep into their arsenal all match, but have not found a way to end it at all. Swings in momentum, every push has been cut off. Taking this outside, this could be good. Well delivered suplex. And Priest might be in some pain following that attack. And the only thing on Roman's mind is to mount more punishment. Thrown back in under the ropes. Damian veering his attention away from the match. Not the best idea. Oh, taking a right to him. No waiting. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. Bam! Reigns! Wow, Reigns nailed it. Is it a the cover? How the heck was that a three count? If you didn't think the official had an ulterior motive coming into this... All right, now here's a man we can trust as a referee. The following I think he'll do us champion all contest proud. is a special guest referee match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, the Superstar. You guys think he's excited to try his hand at refereeing? I don't think he wanted it to come to this in the first place. He just wants to make sure we have some law and order here tonight. Keeping these competitors in line and enforcing the rules is going to be a tricky task. Here comes the greatest competitor in Mysterio family history. Are you kidding me, Corey? How many North American titles has Ray won, Cole? And the participants, first, representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, the NXT North American Champion! Dirty Dominic Mysterio! Many people, including myself, still have a bad taste in our mouths over the way Dominic has treated his Hall of Fame father and his entire family. What an ungrateful child. Oh, Cole, Dirty Dom is simply following his own path, refusing to walk in anyone's shadow. And frankly, it should be admired. 
It's time to watch the most dangerous dude in WWE do what he does best. Other than disrespect his father? I'm not exactly sure what you're talking about, Corey. Here comes our Tribal Chief. Perhaps the most dominant champion in WWE history. The head of the table, Roman Reigns. And his opponent, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Herman Reigns! I've been at this table for decades, and I've never seen a competitor this dominant. Month in, month out, Reigns continues to dominate. Yeah, but think about this, Corey. The man who finally puts a loss in Roman's record will become immortal. It's bold of you to think he'll even lose. Well, even with the competition at this level, you might be right. Breaking champion, an unbeatable competitor. That's why every time Roman competes, it is a history making moment. And we'll surely see soon if things will be called right down the middle on this one. Well, I'm pretty sure no special referee has ever truly called things right down the middle, Cole. Too many variables and too many egos. 
A match like this, really. And he goes for the pin. One, two, and still hanging on. And the referee is not playing favorites here. A licensed official's count has to keep a steady pace, and that's what he did. Ooh. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Not so fast. And will this be it? And he easily stops the ref's count. With that count, our referee obviously picked the side. Just as I expected, this official using their power to their advantage. Oh, kick right to the gut. Oh, what a kick. Dominic ascends to the top. He went up high. Oh, no, crashing hard onto the floor. Good God, just a disgusting thud hurt here at ringside. Rapid fire Samoan drop. Oh, the power. And Dominic's confidence being kept in check with that hit. That signature hard-hitting style of Roman Reigns. And a he could pin his opponent right here. Strong kick out there. And give it to the referee. That was a standard pin count for sure. You can't say our ref messed around with his cadence during that pin. Corey, what kind of mindset does Reigns need to have in a match like this? He's already in the mindset he needs, Cole. Reigns oozes confidence no matter who he's facing, where he's facing them, or what the stipulations are. He knows that he's the best there is right now, and he's proven time and time again that his confidence is unshakable. Reigns just imposing his will right now. The Tribal Chief's confidence has got to be through the roof right now. An offensive onslaught that his opponent has struggled to find an answer to. He moves just in time. Expected that one. Snapmare delivered by Reigns at a for good measure. He's looking a little weary now. Reigns just sent a message with that kind of attack. Into the ring again. The head of the table cinches it in. Oh, guillotine choke. Submission locked in tight, nowhere to go. And just able to make it to the ropes. That was a close call. Here comes Reigns. The spear by Reigns. Dirty Don is in serious danger. Looking for the victory. What is that? That's not a legit count. You can't get to three that fast. Here is your winner. Yeah. This guy is going to call this one fairly. No, oh, you're about as biased the as he is. The champion versus champion contest is a special guest referee match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, the Superstar. I think the key for him is to not allow himself to be intimidated. He has to be an unwavering referee. Should be pretty easy for this goody two-shoes. I don't know, all of his decisions here tonight will follow him back into the locker room. Yeah, and not everyone is going to agree with his choices. Here comes Finn Balor. One of the most talented competitors around with a darker edge than ever. And the participants. First, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds, he is one half of the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor! A man with amazing high-flying skills, unmatched stamina, and a physique carved out of marble. It's good to be the Prince. I find it amusing, Corey, that despite all those gifts you mentioned, he still requires constant backup in the form of the Judgment Day. Is it Balor's fault that so many competitors want to sit under the learning tree of one of the greatest competitors of this generation? If you ask me, he's not teaching them the right lessons. He's got all the skill in the world, but the Judgment Day never plays by the rules. All you need to see are the titles, the main events, the accolades earned by the Judgment Day. Balor's teaching all the right lessons, and the Judgment Day has executed them to perfection.
WWE Universe God Mode has just been engaged. We are truly experiencing greatness on a different level. And his opponent, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Herman Hermes! The Tribal Chief has faced opponents from every corner of the earth, and none of them have withstood the challenge. And at this rate, who's left? Well, it may seem impossible, but a match like tonight is an ultimate opportunity. Then reality sets in. You are facing greatness on a different level. just can't help but be in awe of the Tribal Chief. I agree, Saxton. This man has truly earned his spot at the head of the table. is underway and we're about to see how strict our guest official can be. Yeah, attention to detail is key here, Michael. The referee has to maintain order by keeping eyes on the action at all times. Any missed call could turn this match into total... Is it enough here? Finn Balor finds a way to stay in this. And it was an even count. Great job by the ref. Are you certain? The Tribal Chief has it cinched in. Travat Sleeper cinched in. You can see it. And breaks the hole, but damage has been done. Here it is, the Sling Blade. Oh my goodness, what an impactful STO. 
Oh, stomp to the guts. Oh, he could do it here. Gets the shoulder up at one. He rushed that count. We all saw it. Can we please see professional, unbiased officiating? Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, it is aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. He skirts around it. Sweeps the legs. Stop! A beatdown on the big dog. And credit where credit's due, he's really gotten into Roman's head here. Channeling his ability to outsmart the tribal chief and pushing Roman's buttons. Using the forearm to their advantage. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? Inflicted. Uh oh. Reigns turns that around. He's managing to get some control back now. Yeah, Roman was able to move into the cover. And he kicks out at two. And the referee counted that right. I don't think that can be disputed. Neither of you can cry about that one. His count was as fair as it gets. count was that this official knows there's more to the job than just looking at the shoulders right oh look at this out to the apron oh my goodness are you kidding me a back suplex right out of the apron you are guaranteed to hit a steel beam out on the apron and they definitely just felt all of it battling at ringside can be very unforgiving you have to be careful out there no protection out here no safe confines to speak of Whew, that was close. Finn Balor. Oh, 19 sick. Will it be? I think so. Kick out. Our referee got that down. That's the count cadence of a fair official. The referee showing zero. Eyes in the drop zone. Oh, Balor could take this one. Cover. Two. And they're still. Reigns kicks out at two and nine tenths. The Trump Chief stays alive. And Balor in complete and utter shock right now. That was supposed to be it. And it's still important to keep our referee in mind. We've come to see how difficult an official's duties truly are. Officiating is a hard job. Now, here's a man we can trust as a referee. The following contest I think he'll do us is a all special proud. guest referee match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, the Superstar. You know, guys, I always thought I would make a great referee. Way better than this clown. Maybe it's time for a career change. <laughs> you? Wearing zebra stripes? Enforcing the rules? Yeah, right. Yeah, forgive me, Corey, but I'm not sure you'd pass even your first refereeing exam. There's exams? Plural? Never mind. I'm out. Here comes pure Irish trouble. And the participants, first, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough! Trained by Finn Balor 
Carter inherited that same killer instinct. And McDonough's absolutely not here to make friends. He's here just to fight and win. I don't think JD could make a friend even if he tried. Well, if JD's the Irish ace, I guess that makes you the Joker, Saxton. Or maybe that rules card that everyone just throws out. WWE Universe God Mode has just been engaged. We are truly experiencing greatness on a different level. And his opponent, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Herman Reigns! The Tribal Chief has faced opponents from every corner of the earth, and none of them have withstood the challenge. And at this rate, who's left? Well, it may seem impossible, but a match like tonight is an ultimate opportunity. Then reality sets in. You are facing greatness on a different level. You can love him or you can hate him, but you must acknowledge him.
A certified GOAT. Reigns is now an unstoppable force. And in this one, we have a special referee in effect. Our officials promised to call this one. Makes the cover. And he powers out. Calling things right down the middle with that count. And pay attention to the referee's excellent positioning. Footage from this should be used at the front center. And he goes for the pin! One, two, Kick out just in time. Looks like our guest official is pretty good at this ref thing. He's right on top of the action, calling it down the middle. Power! You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a power bomb with that much force. Oh! Great reaction from JD. Shoulder right to the midsection. Oh, what a kick! Right to the gut. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Yeah, as Roman came ready to assert his dominance and is doing just that. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Bam! Down he goes. Here's a cover. No, he punched the shoulder before three. And come on, that count was lightning fast. Every official has their own cadence, but let's not be ridiculous. Consecutive attacks keeping McDonough off his game. Reigns is making an opportunity for himself. I imagine that when facing off against Roman Reigns, you're perhaps overly aware of the fact that the bloodline is lurking around every corner. Very true, Cole. Just the threat of the bloodline is enough for Roman to get into the head of his opponents. But you can't take your focus off of Roman. If you worry too much about what the bloodline might do, then the tribal chief already has you beat. Now, oh, trampling the opposition. is locked in tight. This will win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. Powerball! Roman Reigns has just taken command. JD's got to find his spot and take advantage. Roman Reigns saying this is not the WWE Universe. This is Roman's universe. Yeah, Reigns! Reigns got all of it. For the win! Two count! Now nah, give me a break. No self-respecting official would ever have counted a three like that. Yeah, now this guy is going to call this one fairly. No, oh, you're about as biased as he is. The contest is a special guest referee match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, the Superstar. Now, this is a guy who won't get pushed around, won't get intimidated, and he won't be entertaining either. You know, I saw this guy studying the WWE rulebook earlier tonight. What a dork. Yeah, he was reading Saxton's copy. It was? He didn't even ask. Hey, maybe this guy isn't trustworthy after all. Presenting the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion! I've been at this table for decades, and I've never seen a competitor this dominant. Month in, month out, Reigns continues to dominate. Yeah, but think about this, Corey. The man who finally puts a loss in Roman's record will become immortal. It's bold of you to think he'll even lose. Well, even with the competition at this level, you might be right.
just can't help but be in awe of the Tribal Chief. I agree, Saxton. This man has truly earned his spot at the head of the table. And a guest referee overseeing this match. The question is, will things be impartial and called down the middle? I don't expect any blatant abuse of power. I believe the standards of being an official will be upheld. And I believe Saxon has never seen a special guest referee match. Oh, oh wicked kick to the lower back. Elbow drop. Piercing. Rolling next. That could be it. that one closely. You can't accuse our guest referee of going into business for himself after that fair count. Went into the corner now. Oh! With authority! Puts the boot to the midsection. Kick to the abdomen. Truth starting to get the crowd involved. Kick to the gut. Uh-oh. Truth caught by surprise. Kick to the gut. And a big right hand. Here he goes for the win. He gets the shoulder up at two. And the referee counted that one way too fast. I think our official might need a refresh of the top. Elbow drop. Completely flattened, and that should do it. That has to do it. Our truth, what a kick out. Our guest referee with a textbook count. No one is gonna say boo about the official's count there. Roman Reigns sits on the mountaintop of this business, and of all the things that have gotten him this far in his career, you can't deny how important confidence has been for him. That overwhelming belief in himself and his abilities has been a large part of his success, and he can never let that falter. I'd expect that confidence of Roman's to play a big part in this match here. Larry. Oh, man. Inside out. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you, never a good time for that to happen. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! That's right, Truth! What's up? He's heading back to the ring. Save it! Roman Reigns so dominant, putting his opponent to sleep with the guillotine! Oh no, this is... The guillotine locked in. This is all. That was an incredible counter. Oh, look at this. Tremendous resilience shown by the superstar in complete control of this match. Incredible momentum being built here by the superstar. Victory could be imminent. No kick out at two. Important kick out there. Our guest referee showing superb reaction skills, not missing a thing. Kick to the gut. Oh, what a right! He no Reigns hits it! No coming back from Reigns after that. That's gotta be it. There's two! And now they about to do it, folks. Well, I'm sure Saxton's pleased with this guy as our referee. I am. The He's here to deliver justice in the ring. Is a special guest referee match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, the Superstar. 
You guys think he's excited to try his hand at refereeing? I don't think he wanted it to come to this in the first place. He just wants to make sure we have some law and order here tonight. Keeping these competitors in line and enforcing the rules is going to be a tricky task. Finn Balor is here. And it's time for the WWE Universe to face their judgment. And the participants, first, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds, he is one half of the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor! You know, Finn Balor used to have such a deep connection with the WWE Universe but he's thrown all that away with this new attitude. I'd argue that was the smartest thing that Balor's ever done. Finn used to be the guy who let glory slip through his fingers, who fell just short of expectations, but now he's living up to his hype and much more. Balor famously became the first ever Universal Champion, but had to surrender the title to injury. And he's had some measure... Here comes our Tribal Chief. Perhaps the most dominant champion in WWE history. The head of the table, Roman Reigns. And his opponent, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds. He is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns! Our special referee has started the match, and we're about to see what it takes to be the authority in the ring. I think this is more of a test for the competitors in the ring, Cole. In this scenario, things can go south real quick. It's all about keeping... He thinks he has it. Finn Bauer finds a way to stay in this. Finding the power to shake off the pin attempt. Our special referee doing the zebra stripes proud. like that will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. Oh my gosh! It looked like Balor's quest for excellence was met with some resistance there. And Reigns doing some proverbial smashing there. Max handle from the middle rope. Shoulder up. The referee respecting his job and being impartial with his count. Our designated official being as fair and square as one can be with that count. He manages to escape it. And Finn Balor connected nicely there. Rocked his opponent. Oh, weakening the leg here. Oh, no, this isn't going to end well. Oh, oh my. He thinks he has it. No, he pops the shoulder before three. And the ref is showing integrity with that count. I'd say our special referee is taking the duty very seriously. Looks like he was up all night practicing his technique. Saw it coming. And Reigns unleashes the... Into the pin attempt. Fast count to get 
with the three. That was utterly inexcusable. Like he sees it. Well, I see him as boring. The following contest is a special guest referee match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, the Superstar. You know, guys, I always thought I would make a great referee. Way better than this clown. Maybe it's time for a career change. <laughs> you? Wearing zebra stripes? Enforcing the rules? Yeah, right. Yeah, forgive me, Corey, but I'm not sure you pass even your first refereeing exam. There's exams? Plural? Never mind. I'm out. Class is in session. Master Gable has arrived. And the participants. First, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Chad may be the greatest coach of all time. Look what he did to Otis. Yeah, but is Chad Gable actually teaching the right lessons? Look at the record book, Saxton. You see all those W's? Those look like the right lessons to me. Great tag team partner, great mentor, great single star. Chad Gable has not only resurrected his career, but Otis's as well. And Gable does it all for the Academy. Here comes our Tribal Chief. Perhaps the most dominant champion in WWE history. The head of the table, Roman Reigns. And his opponent, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Herman Reigns! Over 1,200 plus days as Universal Champion, the third longest reigning world champion in WWE history. Three plus years of dominance. Dozens of successful title defenses. Yeah, it's got to feel like pure intimidation when you are facing Roman Reigns. It may even feel like victory is virtually impossible. Reigns is firmly established as the head of the table and has no intention of being unseated.
Reigns has all the power in WWE in the palm of his hand. If you want it, come take it. Nobody has done it yet. And let's get the obvious out of the way. If you're going to represent the black and white stripes, you have to be qualified for the job. Can he do it here? Oh, he kicked out. And the referee counted that right. I don't think that can be disputed. No one is going to say boo about the official's count there. It's a neck breaker. The cover. No shoulders up at two. And that is how the count should be. This ref is taking the job seriously. Well, you certainly can't complain about the officiating on that pin count. To the arm. Boom! Slam! With authority. And a carefully measured knee drop. And he goes for the pin. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. Our guest referee with a textbook count. You can tell the ref has set his feelings aside with a count like that. Sit up, power bomb. A power bomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. Sidewalk slam. sits on the mountaintop of this business. And of all the things that have gotten him this far in his career, you can't deny how important confidence has been for him. That overwhelming belief in himself and his abilities has been a large part of his success, and he can never let that falter. I'd expect that confidence of Romans to play a big part in this match here. That's unnecessary. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. And he's hanging him up on the second rope. Oh, using the ropes to wear wait, out wait, his wait, opponent. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, knee lift. Taking this one back to the ring now. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Just disrespectful. And I don't know if there's any ounce of professionalism in an attack like that. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Oh, right to the throat. Will the speed up? And Chad Gable powers out. And that was a by-the-book pin count. That officiating is almost too good. In fact, I'd say it's suspiciously fair and balanced. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. Reigns is wasting no motion. And the overwhelming confidence of Reigns has gotten him this far. It could take him all the way. Elusiveness from Gable. Boom! Into a DDT. Goes into the pin. Two! And he powers out. Okay, Rev, take your time. Check your shoes, too, while you're down there. Our official got into position, and for some reason, their arms stopped working. Someone should tell this official to do his job. Chad Gable goes behind, hoists up his opponent. Nice German suplex. And why not? Let's get a trifecta. Nice. May have just vanquished Reigns. Makes the cover. No, he gets the shoulder up. Important kick out there. I'd say our special referee is taking the duty very seriously. Looks like he was up all night practicing his technique. Punch right in the head. Wrapping the arm over that top rope. Punishing their opponent. Answering back. Oh, my goodness, what a knee strike. And, Corey, what have you thought about the officiating in this match so far? I have to say, this referee's called it right down the middle and has conducted themselves honorably. Vicious right forearm. Reigns with a vicious stomp and a series of strikes. Roman has his opponent right where he wants him. 
Lining up the shot. Drive by. And that's what you have to do when you are the head of the table. The Tribal Chief has acquired the target. This is... Wow, Reigns nailed it. That's got to be it. Two. What a ridiculous three count. Our referee has just cast a black cloud over this entire match. All right, now here's a man we can trust as a referee. The following contest I think he'll do us is a special guest proud. referee match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, the Superstar. I think the key for him is to not allow himself to be intimidated. He has to be an unwavering referee. Should be pretty easy for this goody two-shoes. I don't know, all of his decisions here tonight will follow him back into the locker room. Yeah, and not everyone is going to agree with his choices. Here comes devastation. And the participants, first, representing the Viking Raiders from Valhalla, weighing in at 247 pounds, Eric. Eric will take what he wants and plows through anyone in his way. You cannot allow Reigns to intimidate you. Yeah, well, that's probably easier said than done. He is in for the fight of his life. Make way for the head of the table. I think we can all agree we are seeing a once-in-a-lifetime competitor. And his opponent, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Herman Reigns! I've been at this table for decades, and I've never seen a competitor this dominant. Month in, month out, Reigns continues to dominate. Yeah, but think about this, Corey. The man who finally puts a loss in Roman's record will become immortal. It's bold of you to think he'll even lose. Well, even with the competition at this level, you might be right.
in the opponent's head like a basketball. Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. He goes for the quick pin attempt. Not quite there yet. It was an even count. Great job by the ref. You can't say our ref messed around with his cadence. Oh, God! Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. Desperate times call for desperate measures, and in this business, there's no more desperate a time than when you have to face off against Roman Reigns. Absolutely, Cole. It's a dangerous strategy, but I think you have to take the risk of goading and taunting Roman Reigns. You have to outsmart him and bait him into failure. Again, a dangerous strategy. Eric gets countered. Have to head back into the ring now. Yeah, count's running out. Oh, my. Down with authority. He'll take things into the ring. Wow, the last second beat the count out. Not the position you want to be in right now. He knows he's supposed to be caught in this match, right? Oh, look at this. So ruthless. Into the cover. He gets the shoulder up in two. Fastest pin count I've ever seen. Clearly speeding their way through that count, showing an obvious lack of training. And an elbow drop for added measure. That'll turn your lights out. He's getting a little batter now. Superman punch! That, he's got him down. Is this it? He gets the shoulder up in two. And the referee is not playing favorites here. And keep Reigns is sitting on Marco. Here it comes. No coming back from Reigns after that. Pin. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What kind of count was that? Just god awful officiating. Well, I'm sure Saxton's pleased with this guy as our referee. I am. The He's here to deliver justice in the ring. Match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, the Superstar. Now, this is a guy who won't get pushed around, won't get intimidated, and he won't be entertaining either. You know, I saw this guy studying the WWE rulebook earlier tonight. What a dork. Yeah, he was reading Saxton's copy. It was? He didn't even ask. Hey, maybe this guy isn't trustworthy. Mello is and money. Participants. First, from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Reigns. This guy has future star written all over him. The winner of the 2021 NXT Breakout Tournament, multiple-time NXT North American Champion, and unified that title with the Cruiserweight Championship. He's got a cocky attitude, but a bad habit of backing it up. Carmelo Hayes looks eager to get things done. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tribal Chief is here. And we may have no other option but to acknowledge him.
And his opponent, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Herman! Herman! The Tribal Chief has faced opponents from every corner of the earth, and none of them have withstood the challenge. And at this rate, who's left? Well, it may seem impossible, but a match like tonight is an ultimate opportunity. Then reality sets in. You are facing greatness on a different level. Mello may be money, but this guy says he's going to cancel that check here tonight. Here we go with our special guest referee in the ring making the calls. If there are any questionable counts or odd calls tonight, we know who's going to have to answer for them. Here's the cover. And he gets the shoulder up before two. The referee definitely quickened the pace with that count. Our appointed official is clearly not prepared for the rigors of properly counting to three. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. I don't know if this is a good idea. This is going to take more strength than he has left. A lift up. He can do it here. Almost two and a half. Standard officiating there for sure. Got to commend our official. Saw the shoulders down and responded accordingly. Over the top rope. Oh, this is vicious. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. Boom! A continuous attack on Hayes. This could be it. Cover! He narrowly avoids the count. Nice work fighting off the pin attempt. And pay attention to the referee's excellent positioning. Footage from this should be used at the performance center. Oh, that's a line. It's cinched in. This could be over. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Into the corner. This can't be good. Roman Reigns giving the people in attendance the chance to acknowledge him. Insulting. The disrespect can be tasted in their mouth. Kick on the mark. Reigns has always been a powerhouse. How crucial is avoiding those big maneuvers for anyone hoping to defeat him? It's the whole ball game, Cole. Reigns can be whittled down, but you have to avoid that one big attack because it is a game changer. You make him miss, you have your chance. The referee continues the count, may call it soon. And now thrown back into the ring. He climbs back into the ring just in time. 
That was getting close. Inverted DDT connects. Measuring. Oh, no. Can he do it here? And a kick out. What a terribly fast count. Nothing down the middle about that. Our official with an utter lack of professionalism on that pin. And a Oof. stomp to the gut, too. Now that'll do some serious damage. Reigns averts the attack. And did you hear the impact of that? Nap time on the island of relevancy. It's cinched in. And he's able to fend off what must have been a grueling submission. Okay. The arm for a Fujiwara armbar. Ah, oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Here's the cover. Just kicks out. And our guest official calling that one down the middle. Our special referee doing the zebra stripes proud. Boom. Live here tonight from Monday Night Raw, the flagship brand of WWE, the home to some of the greatest moments in all of sports entertainment. Setting foot in the ring now. Raise guillotine applied. Mello is in trouble. Mello's in deep, deep trouble. He may submit him. Got to find a way out of the guillotine. They're not going to last long. Why would a bridge it out? Incredible. Both knees into the face. Simply effortless from Hayes. Mello showing he was born to make things look easy. Saw that one coming. Reigns hits it! Reigns put his stamp on this one. For the win! Two! It was in three. That was a fast count if there ever was one. Yeah, now this guy is going to call this one fairly. No, oh, you're about as biased the as he is. is a special guest referee match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, the Superstar. I think the key for him is to not allow himself to be intimidated. He has to be an unwavering referee. Should be pretty easy for this goody two-shoes. I don't know, all of his decisions here tonight will follow him back into the locker room. Yeah, and not everyone is going to agree with his choices. This is one intimidating superstar. I agree with you, Saxton. I pity those who pick a fight with Braun Breaker. And the participants. First, from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker! We've seen a fury to Braun Breaker, a fiery temper that fuels him in the ring. And that fire cannot be extinguished. Just look at Breaker's face. The intensity of this man is palpable. Braun looks ready to completely annihilate the opposition.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Tribal Chief is here. And we may have no other option but to acknowledge him. His opponent, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds. He is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Herman Reigns. Three plus years at the top of WWE for this man. Nobody has been able to defeat the Tribal Chief. A reign of epic proportions. Dozens have tried. Dozens have failed. Think about this. Hall of Famers, main eventers, crossover stars. None of them have been able to defeat Roman Reigns. This man's opponent has winning embedded in his DNA. A major test when facing off against Braun Breaker. Unique match here. Anything can happen in the throes of battle, but you can't turn your sights on. This could do it. He narrowly avoids the count. And that was an appalling fast count. He shouldn't be a ref at all. Yeah, not so sure that count was completely by the book. Supernatural power. Now that's what you call impact. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Planning on what to do next. Planet face first. Oh, a knee. He's got him down. Is this it? Yeah. A kick out to stay alive. 
and you can't argue with the referee's count. Neither of you can cry about that one. His count was as fair as it gets. Power, strength, speed, agility, athleticism. Braun Breaker really does have all the tools to be at the top of this business. And when he puts it all together, Cole, there are few men in this company who can really stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. That's why he's got a great chance to win tonight. Is it enough here? No, he pops the shoulder before three. And that was an honest count. No one can argue that. You can't accuse our guest referee of going into business for himself after that fair count. A picture-perfect moonsault. And that is not supposed to look that easy, ladies and gentlemen. And that's something that will slow down Breaker. Ray is making sure he acknowledges him after that. Evading offense. Kick to the gut. Uh-oh. Oh, and Breaker turns the tables. Gorebuster! The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. He eludes the contact. Oh, my gosh, what impact. Concern. Is it enough? The cover! A blatantly fast count from the ref. Absolutely no shame shown from our official. Here is your win. Well, I'm sure Saxton's pleased with this guy as our referee. I am. The He's here to deliver justice in the ring. Is a special guest referee match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match. Now, this is a guy who won't get pushed around, won't get intimidated, and he won't be entertaining either. You know, I saw this guy studying the WWE rulebook earlier tonight. What a dork. Yeah, he was reading Saxton's copy. It was? He didn't even ask. Hey, maybe this guy isn't trustworthy after all. Behold the intimidating sight of Gunther. The ring general is ready to come out here and do what he does best inside the ring. And the participants, first, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Gunther's all business. There is very little wasted motion in this man when he gets going. Well, there may be roadblocks in his path, but Gunther's dominance has shown no signs of slowing. Record-breaking reigns with the NXT UK and Intercontinental titles. He's put away main eventers and future Hall of Famers while defending those titles. Here comes our tribal chief. Perhaps the most dominant champion in WWE history. The head of the table, Roman Reigns.
And his opponent, representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Herman Reigns! Three plus years at the top of WWE for this man. Nobody has been able to defeat the Tribal Chief. Oh a reign so of epic proportions. Dozens have tried. Dozens have failed. Think about this. Hall of Famers, main eventers, crossover stars. None of them have been able to defeat Roman Reigns. He is about to stand face to face with European excellence personified. And in this one, our competitors must remember this is a traditional matchup, and the rules of the match are the same regardless of who is the referee. He thinks he has it. One, two, oh, he kicked out. And our referee watched that one closely. Our official kept a fair count there, really earning his stripes. Bam! Down he goes. Carefully measured knee strikes. And left it with these knee strikes. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Nicely done. Oh my God. Will this be enough? And they kick out at two. And with that quick of a count, the referee isn't leaving much time for a kick out. Not exactly the fair and square officiating that was promised beforehand. Oh, great display of strength with the suplex. Oh, right to the back of the neck, what a blow. Good night. Ooh, what a damaging blow. The Tribal Chief has it cinched in. There's a Kumar sleeper hold submission. He needs to find an escape prop. Nice. No, oh, someone called a dentist. Can he score the pin? Uh, maybe. 
He gets the shoulder up in two. The referee respecting his job and being impartial with his count. Looks like our special referee knows the importance of his responsibilities. It has to be tough being as rigid as Guthrie is. You have to wonder if Guthrie is going to bend or break here tonight. Cole, you wouldn't understand the higher standard that Gunther holds himself to. There's a reason why he has been so internationally successful and he hasn't broken yet. When you hold yourself to his level, you're just better. Plain and simple. And a power bomb. What goes up must come down and it sure as hell did right there. Dominating shoulder tackle. Oh my goodness. Man. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. in the head. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Big forearm. Oh, grip in the jaw. My goodness. That's insulting. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Boom, boom. Persistent barrage. He's testing fate here in danger of a countout. Gunther is really playing it up for the WWE Universe. He climbs into the ring. Out on the apron. Oh, this oh. is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. Back suplex on the apron. There's no good way to land on the ring apron like that. The location has the least give out of the entire ring. Reigns heads up, this is good. Up high, and an elbow drop. Felt like a boulder out of the sky and absolutely flattened the target. Gunther catches him by surprise. Put it in position now. Targeting the throat there. He's going for the pin, this could be it. Kicks out. And the ref is showing integrity with that count. Our guest referee is showing superb reaction. The ring general showing off his power. A power bomb. Can Reigns recover from that? And he's still in the game. The head of the table almost went to the back of the line on that one. Roman better get it together. It is just unbelievable. And Gunther's tank has got to be running low, guys. I don't know what his game plan is now. Oh! A torturous knee. Oh, targeting the stomach. Kick after kick after kick. How humiliating. Something's about to go either very wrong or very right from the top. Elbow drop. Good lord. A non-stop assault. Looking for the victory. He breaks the ref's count after one. That was not a standard count, and we all know it. Shame on our official. No one could view what we just saw as being unbiased. Oh, my. Set flying. I don't advocate putting your hands on an official, but I can't blame them. Go, wrench. This could be it. Cover for the win. Kicks out after one. He's counting too slow. Ridiculous. But that serve as a reminder that you don't become a superstar because the head of the table cinches it in. Now the guillotine choke is taking out so many superstars. Oh, body is not meant to bend that way. For the love of God. The bell, but there was no tap. There was no tap. I agree, Cole. I saw the same, but the referee Here's made the call. Your...